Bem. Bem. <laughs> oh gosh, he loves it out here at the pool. So I'm gonna set you guys here on the table. And you guys know the deal. When I set y'all on the table, you know we're about to have just a just a plain discussion. And here's what I want to talk about. I, I I've never said that modifying the 57 to to where I'm at in horsepower is the cheapest thing the easiest thing or, or I don't want to say necessarily it's not the most economical way uh, to make power all right so let's be honest there's a lot of ways you can do it there's a lot of ways to make power you can buy a Hellcat <laughs> Hellcats make plenty of power you can modify a Hellcat make even a little bit more power um, you can buy a scat pack, you can modify a scat pack, you can make a little bit more power. You can do drop-ins, you can make a lot of power. Uh, look at Wide Body Mike. Um, the only thing with the scat packs and the 5.7s uh, is, you know, the HP-70 is going to hold you back. Uh, until you either build the HP-70 or get a HP-90, in which sooner or later you're going to have to get the 90 built. Um, so... So I, I, I'm, I'm hoping I don't uh, give the wrong impression that, hey, the 5.7 is the easiest, most economical, cheapest way uh, to make 900 wheel horsepower. It's, it's, it's not, right? Um, you know, I, some of you guys were in the chat on Wednesday. Hey, I could have took the 30, 35,000 I've spent on the car now I could have put that into uh, into a Fox body, do an LS swap, could have been twin turboed, and could be running, you know, sixes, sevens. Um, that's that's just fact, right? So, you know, to come off and call someone a chump or call them names because they're modifying the car that they have, not a not. A, a car you think would be more economical or, or, or smarter to do you know don't don't hold that against me or anyone else that's that's doing a five seven so this is specifically for the trolls and the haters right um though i don't have many i've only had a couple uh, which has been great 99 percent of you have been awesome fully supportive understandable and some of you guys are Hellcat owners, some of you guys are Red Eye owners, some of you guys are Scat Pack owners, uh, and you know a lot of you guys are guys and or gals. I use guys in the general sense. Uh, uh, you know, have five sevens, but to come out and oh, you're a chump because you spent you know twenty five thousand dollars, thirty thousand dollars on your five seven to make it to make it faster. Um, th th there's no reason for it. Uh, there's no reason for it um, and it's just it's just basic basic respect for people in general uh, is all I'm saying and I said it in the chat too um, it's just nowadays people just don't respect people I mean even uh, you know some people that have friends friends of friends don't respect people so it's it's uh, it, it's just it, it's kind of crazy but the only reason I'm making this video is I want to make sure you five seven owners know that hey it's not the cheapest it's not the most economical and it's not the easiest way uh, to make power uh, and, and go down the racetrack um, you know if you want a street slash strip car five sevens great six four is great Hellcats great scat packs are great um, you know, if you want an all-out race car uh, and you're just looking to go a, a certain time, go get you a Fox Body, LS Swap It, Twin Turbo, cage it, put a couple shoots on the back, there you go. <laughs> it's easy said and done, and you could probably do it within 20, 25,000, arguably. Maybe even cheaper, I don't know. I haven't checked into the you know the fox body and ls swap stuff but i'm just guessing 20 25 000, you could have 
a, a, a low eight second car on the track um, but I, I'm just hoping the majority of you guys again five I'm, I'm, so I am talking to the trolls the haters and the five seven five seven folks I just want to make sure that 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 you guys know what I'm doing you know what I'm spending you've seen the money you've seen where I've spent it you see all the modifications I've done uh, it, it's it's not easy it's not cheap and it's not for the faint of heart I know I've said that a couple times already but um, it, it just is what it is and I know I'm repeating myself and I know some of y'all hate when I repeat myself but I, I just want to make make it clear um, I'm just doing this because I love the 5.7 platform I, I love my car um, and, and you can beat me up for that too if you want to saying I love my car um, you know uh, you modify a car you, you create a connection with that car right some people anyway um, and I, I've got a connection with the car and that's why I stayed 5.7 because of that connection uh, not because it's cheap, not because it's economical, not because, um, you know, I'm trying to be the fastest 5.7 around. I'm just modifying my car because that's what I like to do and I have fun doing it. Um, so hopefully that resonates uh, with, with some of you guys. And I know, I, I know I'm going to get it in the comments again. I'm, I'm sure a troll or a hater is going to come out of there somewhere. Um, uh, and I know I'll get ribbed by some of you guys in the comments. Oh, excuse me. You know, for letting the, uh, uh, letting the trolls and the haters get to me. Uh, they did get under my skin just a tad, I gotta admit. Um, but, you know, I'm not saying they don't have a point. <laughs> right? Uh, I mean, they do have a point. Again, there's a lot cheaper ways to go... Uh, go nines than modifying a five seven uh, to go nines. There's many ways to do it, um, and, and you, you can look on the internet and figure that figure that stuff out. But um, you know, and you know, being the five seven, we're a tad bit different than everybody else, right? Um, and it, it just is what it is. That. They just got under my skin. I just want to let that out there. Make sure you guys know, and gals know, that hey, modifying a 5.7 isn't the cheapest, isn't the most economical, uh, and, and it's it, it's not a route everyone everyone should take because it's not for the faint of heart. But I just needed to get that off my chest. Um, I, I did it a little bit in the Wednesday chat, uh, but I just I just wanted to get that off my chest. But, hey, bigger, brighter things coming. Whether the, the trolls and haters are out there or not, bigger, better things are coming uh, from Shake and Bake. Uh, it's just a matter of time we get her tuned in. Get her tuned in on the ice, and, and, and we'll be rocking and rolling. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one, folks. If you're stopping in for the first time, please check out the rest of the channel. If you like what's going on... Oh, excuse me again. If you like what's going on with the channel, do me them few things. Like, subscribe, smash the bell, shoot me a comment, share it on your social media. I'll definitely appreciate it. Shake and Bake will definitely appreciate it because every red penny from YouTube goes right back into Shake and Bake. That's it for this, folks. Till next time. Adios.